What's good everybody? I'm back again with another video and we're going up for our second game in this head-to-head -head season and we always receive the kickoff it seems. I don't know what it is about the coin toss. I don't win it. I take this knee and we're going to start the game off right and that's at the 20-yard line. Joe Montana dropping back and I have no time to throw so I'm making adjustments. I'm thinking to myself, hmm, what do I got to do? Let's see how the run works. I try to bust it outside with DeMarco Murray and guess what? Every flipping game he gets hurt. Two games, two injuries for DeMarco Murray. Woo, very crazy lag right here. But we find Percy Harvin on the curl route. He picks up a nice 34 yards on the play. Now it's third and nine once again. I can't figure this guy out on first and second down. Third down, I go right here, and I'm looking for my boy A.J. Green coming across the middle, picking up the first down, getting us in the red zone. Now it's second and eight. Montana dropping back, and he finds LeRon McLean on the play action for six. And my opponent has RG3, so I know he's going to be trying to run with the quarterback. He's got to play a lot of contain. As RG3 drops back right here, he has all day to throw. He gets nothing with it, and it's fourth down. So I'm thinking he's going to punt. I come out, had to change the thing up, and he comes out right now and finds a guy right across the middle, right between the cover two. And I'm thinking to myself, why couldn't I get him off the field? And every time that happens, I always end up giving up points. When somebody gets that on me, I'm not going to stop him. As you see that great, great catch right there. Nice user jumping up and getting that grab right over me. He comes right back with another run. Great blocking on the outside with no Sean Marino making a man miss. But we hawk him down right inside of the five-yard line. And I'm thinking to myself, it's third and goal. We got a chance to get him off the field. He finds a man for six, and we have a tie ball game. So now Montana on third and ten again. I get six yards on the play, and I've seen him go for it. So I'm thinking to myself, why not go for it? If this is what Ultimate Team is all about, go for it. And I know better than this. I am a guy that plays so conservative, and I'm sitting here thinking, why and where am I going for it? I had X wide open, I miss him, and now I'm like, oh, scramble drill, scramble drill, somebody get open. And I throw it away. So, I just shot myself in the foot with less than a minute left in the first half. But Thomas Deku picks it off right here. No damage done by either side. So I'll take that. 51 seconds now. First and 10. And I'm thinking to myself, I got all three timeouts. Why not push it? Montana finds Hayward Bay who picks up five yards on the play. And we're going to come out. And I said, I got to take a shot. And that guy is Percy Harvin. Montana to Harvin. You're not going to catch me, son. Let me holler at you, player. Touchdown, Percy. Don't have no mercy on them, Harvin. So I'm thinking to myself, we're going to go into half with a 14 to 7 lead. I drop a pick. I'm thinking that would have been 17 7 at least. But now it's 20 seconds left in the half. RG3 with the read option bounces it to the outside and somehow he is going to take that to the house. I had two defensive backs run into each other right there giving him the angle. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So he gets the ball to start the second half. RG3 puts a man in motion and he's running with RG3. He thinks he's found something. Maybe I got to figure out how to stop this. Is he hitting me with a nice juke? I make sure I get back in bounds and make that tackle. And I'm thinking to myself, what do we got to do? Just sell out completely on the run. Make him become a passer. RG3 dropping back once again. And D'Amico Ryans with the user pick. That was all me. I get the pick. I'm making RG3 a thrower, man. You're not going to beat me with the legs. You got to be multidimensional. But now, Joe Montana drops back, finding Thomas coming across the middle for the first down. I was converting a lot of third downs here today. Joe Montana hands it off to Darren Sproles, waiting patiently on his blocks. Picks up a nice game for the first down. Montana dropping back once again. He sees no one. He's trying to buy some time. He fumbles it, but Bushrod is right there to pick it up. Ooh, I almost shot myself and didn't get three points out of it. So it's third and 17. I see that he doesn't have anybody in the box, really. I'm going to take the easy, hey, let's get three points approach. If we get the first down, we get the first down. And boom, just like that, we get six points off the draw. I could not believe that draw play worked, but it did. Hey, now all we got to do is just stop him on first and 10. 
RG3 tries to throw for the screen, and Cofield is right there to make the nice tackle for a loss. Second and 12 now. RG3 has a man going out in motion. He's dropping back, and it is picked off by Lewis Delmas, a.k.a. Louis D on the play. Let's go. We end up getting the win, 21 to 14. RG3 is disappointed. Chick Liddell falls to the Shady Bunch. So we're 2-0, baby. Let's keep this thing moving. Let's keep this gravy train moving. Y'all be good. Expect another video out real soon.